Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Big John TV. Thanks for tuning in. It's a Monday. Mondays mean whatever we want. Yeah, Mondays are a toss-up. It's just something that doesn't fit into one of the other categories. Yeah, mostly because nothing sounds good with it that we do. Right. One of the newer games we like to play here, Big John TV. Taste, no. There's no tasting. No. Testing kitchen gadgets. <laughs> it's not even about eating today. That's, right. That, that's, it's cool because it doesn't even involve us eating food. There are so many kitchen gadgets, household products on the market. Yep. And there's so many of them that I look at and go, it does not really work. Right. You see the infomercials where people are hacking away at a bread because they don't know how to cut bread. Right. But this tool is going to make it easy. Yep. Does it really make it easy? <laughs> so, so we've talked about a watermelon cutter. We've talked about a pineapple core. Mm -hmm. We've talked about... Some uh, egg gadgets. Peeling uh, hard-boiled eggs. Yep. Um, some good ones, some crap ones. So today we are talking about one of our favorite food ingredients, one of our spices. Spices. Stop. <sighs> We're talking about garlic. Yep, and love garlic. So typically this is what we use to mince garlic. It takes it's a simple simple tool. Yep. It's metal. It's got little holes. It's got a plunger. Yep. And you smush the garlic. Yep. This one has a bonus little hole cleaner outer. That's the technical term. It is the cleaner outer cleaner so that you outer. can get it out of all those tiny holes. Yep. Super helpful. Yep. But there's other ways to cut garlic or yep. mash garlic or mince garlic. or. So before we get fully started with that, there is a video going around the internet that I've seen that I've wanted to try. And it is, I don't know if you've seen it or not, but it's the... I'll try and find a clip of it. Taking the garlic to, okay. This whole thing is called a? Head of garlic. Okay, each individual piece is called a? Clove. Clove, bulb, no, just clove? Well, this could be a bulb of garlic okay. too, but uh, typically I call it a head of okay. garlic. So the video, typically, I mean, typically you're you're doing like this, right? You're, you're peeling them off of the One at a time, head. and the, all this paper everywhere, and just making a huge mess. So this video that's going around is showing this guy with a little knife, and he digs in from the bottom up. He stabs it, pulls it, and it just completely doesn't do what he did. <laughs> I love it, it when just, things go wrong. It just completely stabbed and Right. It, I, I watched that one and I was like, what the heck? Now, there's tons of different varieties of garlic, just like the pineapple video. Yeah. There's other ways and other, you know, but it... It looked so simple and it was like ping, ping. Right, without doing ping. without doing actual research, just grabbing a sharp little knife and the garlic. Let me try another one right here. He stabs it in, twists it, pops it, and Alright, so this one's already been started. We already have used half of it. Let's see if that makes a difference. You can see the bolt the uh, the clove right there. Get that knife. They just Stick it in there. They twist and pop. And break the garlic. And it just completely shatters it. And it does that. I mean, it peels it, yeah, but now you got half of a clove of garlic in All there. Alright, I'm calling BS on yeah. that internet video. Yeah. And it's not, I mean, that's stupid. That's a mess. All that's right. no helpful. Yeah. All right, so that little video that we've seen, I don't buy it. Like I said, there could be different little caveats of this style or that style or whatever, whatever. It didn't work. Yeah. So I, bottom line, you just can't copy exactly what I saw or you can't copy what you see on the internet and expect it to work. So I just Failure. realized this is going to be a super messy video oh, yeah. with these garlic papers oh, everywhere. Yeah. And then we're going to be all... Sticky from garlic. Yeah, we're going to be okay, garlic so, for days. Do I need to show folks how this one works? Might as well take, yeah, take one With of those the pieces there. Ones. Yeah, and you can hold the way out there. And... So the downside of this contraption, this tool, is that you have to have peeled garlic. Yeah, so you, you have to You can't do... put the papers in this one. And it just smushes them. And I like to just reload it before I clean it out. All right. And then I usually take a little knife and scrape the backside. 
So you'd cut along the edge there like that, and then boom, you're done. But to get to this point, you've already spent five minutes right. peeling and getting it all ready to go. Yep. So we have found a couple of gadgets that not only would take care of one job, but both jobs, right? Well, yeah. So this one is supposed to take care of peeling. Okay, so, so I'm going to give you a piece of garlic mm -hmm. the clove that's fully wrapped in paper still. And it's got some itty bitty directions. It's from Koopa. Shouldn't read directions. <laughs> and I got this on Amazon. I will link it on our Amazon storefront. We do have an Amazon Amazon storefront. I don't know what that means, but she does. So basically I've linked products we've tried, products we've tested, foods we like, uh, things I use for cooking in the kitchen, all that kind of stuff that you can find on Amazon. But I do know this part. If you go through and watch our video and go, oh, I really want that, and you can find it in the Amazon storefront through our link, we get a little kickback. We get a little kickback for it. So that's kind of cool. Yep. I really like that this one is shaped like a head of garlic. Mm -hmm. It's really like spongy on the outside. I've never seen one of this design before, so it was fascinating. So you right. pop it in the big end. You give it some rolls. Here, got to make sure they can see it now. Oh, yes. No trickery. No, no trickery. No sleight of hand. And then you're supposed to pop the clean garlic out oh. the backside. And... I'm actually quite impressed. That, that is a good. clean clove of garlic. Here, let's so see. now let's do this. I've tried it. Now let's see if you can do it. What, are you, you know, what are you trying to say? If, if, if results, I can do it, anybody can do it? No, if results can't be <laughs> replicated by another person, then it's not so good. Let's, let's go like this. I got mine, you got this one. This one's got more paper oh, on it. Oh, let's do that. But now we only got a certain amount of garlic, so we can't Oh, go we've got plenty. All right. Ready? Yeah, so I'm going to peel it how I peel it. Okay. This is, you know, let's set that aside. Let's not stab set myself with a knife. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> okay. Sweet. So I usually smash. Are you ready? Yeah. Smash. And then you have to, like, kind of twist it and then peel it. Boom, and, done. And I'm still going. I still got paper because I can't get my fingernail under it. That was... Okay, now I'm done. That was pretty tricky. I like that one. Uh, that, yeah. That may be my new kitchen friend. That's cool. The the paper removing process from the garlic cloves mm -hmm. is a pain. Okay, now... Eat it? No. Did you know our original video on YouTube was John eating raw garlic cloves? It was disgusting. Yeah. But I I'm do. not eating it. Okay. Go right ahead. You've done it before. These came along with this garlic mm -hmm. press. Similar idea. So let's see how this one works. Can you handle a big one here? Because you know it, this one's a big it one. It should, as long as it fits in the hole. Down inside? Yeah, so you give that one a go, you roll it. Looks like a cannoli. That's what I was gonna say. You just roll? Just roll and then pop it out and the skin should be separated. Not so good on that one, but not bad. It it didn't fully remove it, I think maybe because of the size. Mm. It didn't have enough room to leave, but it was fully off and like full, okay. fully released and ready to be removed. So that's not bad. That's a big one. I shouldn't okay. eat that and one. And so it came along with this garlic press, which is a different style. So this one looks to me like a cheese grater. Now how would you how would you clean these? Just dishwasher now? They're safe because they're silicone, right? Yeah, you could dishwasher them. Um, does it specifically say? <clears throat> this is a weird one. Isn't it fun to touch though? This one doesn't say specifically how to clean it, but I would dishwasher it or a hand rinse because it's not dirty so right. much as it's just got paper stuck on the inside. All right. Good call. All right, so back to this little doodad. Piece of steel, stainless steel here. Bunch of holes pressed in it. No sharp edges. I thought it was going to be like a cheese grater, but you put your garlic down and you run that over the top and smush it. It says... Unique grip design, convenient to grasp <clears throat> and press the garlic, made of 100% premium stainless steel. Now, what is this one called? What is this company? This one is Garlic Press Ergonomic. It was some... It's called Garlic Press. Yeah. So, it's hopefully, it's not just a clever name. Yeah. So, it fits in my hand good, and I got a big hand. Suitable for anybody, especially for weak strength user. All right. So, then, what do, we, what do I do? Smash it? Just... So, you just, like, roll over the top of it, and that'll smash your garlic. Go back and forth a couple times. And it says you could use it with ginger also. Not bad, look, it all went through. 
There's nothing left on there, but everything's on the inside. So then you would just scrape it here. Why don't you scrape it onto this plate? I don't like this one. That's a lot of work to get yeah, it out of those I holes. Yeah, I feel like <clears throat> I feel like that one's not very convenient. But the holes right, are big on. enough. You, you give that one a real I test. I feel there. like the holes are big enough that they'll just rinse out very well. And this to me takes more strength and effort than the hand crank yeah, one. Yeah, like if you want to do that, you just take a. It's nearly identical results. I just don't like that it's on the inside now as opposed yeah. to the outside of that presser one. Yeah, that part's a little bit of a strange design. Like I I didn't press down quite hard enough so I've got some left yeah. there. Yeah. Meh. I would probably not buy this one again. Yeah, that one's not as impressive. Now this one I'm really excited about and I should have brought scissors over because this is like impossible packaging. This one is supposed to peel and then chop the garlic all in one device which how perfect is that please don't cut yourself but if i do i should do it on camera though so yeah and if you do rub some garlic in it it's right. an antibiotic try not to cut the table too these kinds of packaging are the this, worst this is like the worst thing it's best when you get scissors in those kind of packaging and you're like, I need the scissors to open the packaging. Right. Garlic <laughs> This looks like a giant yo-yo. It does. It totally looks like a yo-yo. Okay. It's two pieces. It's got little claws, perhaps you okay. could call. Did we say gourmia, 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 uh, garlic twist? And you twist it. So it did say, so give me a couple little cloves. In the paper still. In right? the paper still. No, you're, it's not going to be in the paper still if you do it that way. True. Well, it'll be partially. But I want to test it to get the paper off. And this one, I don't remember exactly. I want to say it was about five dollars. Nothing I bought was over eight. Okay. Well, Full that's piece. A big one. In the paper. Okay. So. Well, it's got to be able to says, handle smalls and larges, right. right? It said to use this to give it a couple smacks to break the paper. Well, it's half the job already, so... Right. And then you line up the little center. And this <clears throat> uh, might be too big. I don't know, push it's it in there. It's not be too big. That's the thing. You give it a couple twists. And then you're supposed to be able to remove the paper. Mm -hmm, yeah, kind of. There we go. There's the paper. Now we put this back on. And crank it some more. And now it's grating in there. And too. now it's chopping it. Can you see in there? It's getting finer. Like I assume the longer you do it, the smaller it would get. Could you put in like five or six cloves at a time? It didn't seem like it would handle it, but we could try after that. Because here's my here's gonna be my beef right now. Now you've got all that garlic and all those nicks and crannies to both sides of that thing. Yeah. You you've lost a quarter of the clove. So there is quite a bit left on there. And it's kind of stringier and some bits paper. of the paper left. I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. I really was hoping this one would work. All right. Try it with a slightly smaller one. Oh, it smells fantastic, though. Yeah, this, this kitchen's going to smell great for a couple days now. All right. So it said smack it a couple times. Okay. Okay. So why don't you give me a second one? Can I, is this one okay? It's been half cut? It should be all right. Well, you don't even have to crack that. It's already been cracked. True, true. All right, you want to try it this time? Sure. Okay, so try and line up the center circle. You might have to smush it down a bit. So like, okay, yep. uh, then what now? Smush it down until it's closed. And crank a couple times and then you should be able to peel the paper off. See, now this one was already started, so it came off. I was going to say, it's not coming mm, that off. That wasn't the started one. The bigger one, I think, was the started one. That was the started. Not, but still, the paper came off decently not easy. Not horrible, not horrible. See, now it's stuck on that side, too. So now I press it again, yep, and then I and just... crank. You said you can go full circles. You could go back and forth. Like a pepper grinder at this point. Right. So, I, it's Let me a, try this. Yeah. Let me see if I can get a better amount of it out by doing like this. 
using a brush to get it out, which wouldn't be bad. Like so you then have you a have to buy kitchen. another gadget? Well, like I have little paintbrushes <laughs> that I use in the kitchen. And that's what you're left with there. It is a bit and there. disappointing the amount that stays on it. But I do kind of like the size of it because it's kind of in between the super mushed and like if you were to rough chop your own garlic. Yeah, that would be a better bite for a garlic bread or a pasta. Right? You like, you know it's in there. But yeah. I don't like the fact that you lose a good quarter of the, the clove. Let me see the directions or the packaging again. It said... There's actually a chunk of garlic getting nice. Yeah, there is. It says neatly gathers garlic for use. I don't know about that. It, 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 well, it keeps it all in one place. Oh, it says use a table knife to push out the extra so that's art coming out. I knew I had read somewhere what it, it said about the stuff that gets stuck. But there's, no, okay, by the time I got this completely cleaned out, we're talking, you know, 10 minutes of work. Right. And there's okay. so many little nooks and crannies and ledges. Okay, and, how about this? Let's compare. I'll use yeah. the garlic skinner, the skin remover here. Okay. And I'll use the regular garlic press and we'll see who can go fastest. And we'll compare because maybe it really is quicker to not switch from one to the other. All right. So you give me a garlic with peel on and you take a garlic with peel on. All right, these are comparable in size. Very. And they're comparable in the amount of paper still left on. So, so you take okay. yours, get started. You're gonna smash it a couple times to break See, the skin. I'm already like. Do it on the cutting board, not the table. Which side do you smash it? Does, with? Uh, the bottom because it's flat. Ready? Okay. Yep. Do it. And go. Okay. No paper. I'm done. <laughs> Give me the knife. I can't reach it. I'm still working on mine. Oh, sorry. All right, all right. Which one did you? Which which pile did you just make? This one. Right there in the middle, or the uh, edge? This edge. That one right there. Yeah. Okay. Look how much is left. That's so sad. All right. Don't buy that, that one. It's, it's not bad, but there's a lot more work involved. There really is. So, honestly, your best bet's going to be for peeling mass amounts of garlic. Yeah. I would totally recommend getting one of these or one of those. Yeah. This one's a little bit more fun to play with. Yeah. And it's cute. And, dude, the regular old-fashioned garlic press, this yeah. thing just can't be beat. Yep. Like it's the most efficient, it's the easiest, plop it in, push it mm -hmm. out. I feel like they were trying to reinvent the wheel here and they failed. Right. And like, look how much is stuck on that. Yep. Super on that sad. One and... All right, well that was interesting. So definitely came to some good conclusions here. Are you, are you doing it? Yeah, we're gonna. Are you gonna eat the big one? Yeah, we're gonna. All right, so if you'd like to keep seeing these kinds of videos, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Let us know if you, if you dig them. Always open to suggestions for other kitchen yes. gadgets. Um, we kind of like trying to do like it was all watermelon and pineapple, and it was all egg, and it was all garlic. We're trying to keep in a theme. It, it makes it easier, uh, especially for searching on our, you know, on our end. It's like, okay, mm -hmm. let's let's solve the problem of garlic smashing today. Exactly. All right, um, Jamie's not here, so I'll do the like, subscribe, share it with your friends if you haven't already. Do all those things. We uh, appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Yep. Catch you on the next one. See ya. Well, oh, that was a big one. Oh, why? See ya. It burns. Wait till it gets into your stomach. Good thing we both ate them. Oh, swallowing is hard part. I, yeah, I can't bring myself to do it. Uh. <laughs> Alright, see you guys.